What we need to do is we need to write an equation in slope-intercept form for a line that is parallel to the given line that passes through the given point. So, what we know about parallel lines, or any line for that matter, it follows the form y is equal to mx plus b. As of right now, we know that x and y are always going to be there, but m and x, we don't know what those are going to be. I'm just going to leave those blank. One thing for parallel lines that we're always going to know is if it's, going, if it's a parallel line, it will always have the same slope as the original line. So we know the slope is going to be a half. From there, we still don't know what the y-intercept is going to be. So let's discuss a method that we could use to do that. So, we know it's going to pass through this point. So, what we can do is we can put this point in for our x and our y in our equation and to figure out what that missing b is. In order to do that, we can say, instead of y, we can say negative 3 is equal to half x, or 4, plus b. We're now going to solve for b, so we need to do all the work necessary to do that. Half times 4 is 2, is equal to negative 3, and we still have our b right there. And then after that, we can subtract 2 from both sides. If we do that, we get negative 5 is equal to our fantastic b, or our y-intercept. So this equation now can be rewritten. If we put that negative 5 in for b, we can rewrite it as y is equal to half x, our slope, times x, plus a negative 5. This can also be written as y is equal to half x minus 5. Either one works, but that's all we need to do. Hope this helps.